Hi everyone, I'm doing a new haul video for you today. First thing I want to mention is that I have a giveaway coming up on my blog. It's for when I hit 50 subscribers. I'm currently sitting at 38 when I last checked, so I'm only 12 subscribers away. Um, to be eligible, you'll need to subscribe to my blog channel. Um, and once I hit 50 subscribers, I will put instructions there on how you enter as well. And there'll be ways that you can get extra votes as well. Um, it's open internationally, so I'll ship it to anywhere in the world. Um, it's a collection of makeup which I have already bought, um, but I'm not going to show you what it is until I hit 50. So, um, yeah, if you want to keep watching this haul, then just keep watching. But other than that, we'll see you over on my blog. Okay, so, first off, um, I don't really have a bronzer. I have a bronzer that came with my Bare Minerals Foundation Kit. And um, it's just far too dark for me. And it's kind of very orangey as well. So I don't really like the look it gives me. So I set on a quest to find a new one. And I didn't want anything high end. I wanted something that I could just pick up quite cheap. Um, and something that really complemented my skin tone. Um, so when I was in Superdrug the other day, I saw this Barry M Natural Dazzle, which is this one here. Um, it's a matte bronzing powder and I specifically wanted matte as well because I do actually have one from L'Oreal that was in a gift set um, and that one is very shimmery and I don't like the look it gives me at all because of how much it is shimmery. Um, but I've got this one here um, it just says natural dazzle, it's got a number on the back which says 147, I don't know if that relates to the colour at all but I will show you. I've been contouring with it the last couple of days and I really 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 like it, I just look like I've Kind of just got a warmer skin tone. <laughs> anyway, there you go. So that's it there. It's got the Barry M uh, embossed on it. And if I just do one swatch like that, you'll see it's very sort of... There you go. It's kind of a soft to gentle warm brown. I absolutely love it. Um, for staying power, it's it's decent. It's I found that it's sort of pretty much day put all day. Really, really like it. Um, I'll probably do a sort of more in-depth review on my blog about it. So if you want to check that out, that will be on there. Um, right, what else did I buy? I'm just trying to do, do the mineral order. I tell you what, I'll do eyelashes next. Um, I don't normally wear false eyelashes, but um, I was heading to a party, it was actually my own party, um, and I was wearing a purple wig, because it was a wig-themed birthday party, and I saw these. I didn't end up wearing them because it was a little bit too much with the wig as well. Um, but these are purple feather eyelashes, these ones here. Um, they're just... I just thought they were amazing and I've never worn anything like that before and realistically I still haven't worn anything like that because I didn't wear them but um, but they were really quite special um, I certainly would wear them on a, a night out if I wasn't doing anything else that was a bit crazy but there they are um, the camera's really not picking up the colour, they're bright purple they're looking very blue in the camera there but they are bright purple um, and yeah they just kind of turn your eyes into flowers really <laughs> They just look very flowery. So, anyway, I got them. They were £5. I got them from the same place I got my wig, which was a fancy dress shop. And then I also picked up these as well from them. These were £3. Um, it's from the same make, which is, they're called Smithy's Fever. And they're these ones here. They're big dramatic ones, which again, are not what I normally wear at all. I did try these on, and the reason I didn't wear them is because they were too big. They were touching my eyelid. You couldn't see any of my eyeshadow. So it kind of thought, well... There's no point in me doing all my eyeshadow all nice and purpley to go with my wig. Um, so I ended up not wearing them either. So I actually didn't wear any false eyelashes in the end. So never mind. Okay. So um, I pick, have picked up uh, quite a few nail polishes. So I'm going to leave them and do them all together. Um, I picked up two more of the Maybelline Colour Tattoos. I bought Turquoise Forever. Yep, Turquoise Forever. And the labels come off this one, but it is... On and on bronze, or I think in America it's called Bad to the Bronze, which is that one there. This I'm actually wearing today, and I absolutely love it. This one I have a bit of an issue with. Um, the colour is absolutely stunning, but a uh, really big problem. Um, it doesn't just crease like crazy. It kind of just slides down my face. Um, if I can insert and work out how to insert a photo, I did take a photo of how my eye looked at the end of the night of wearing it. And um, all I'd done is put it on in the morning about half past seven, gone to work, did a day in work, sat at home in the evening and then went to take it off and it was like all down here and everything and I just thought that's no good. And I haven't had it happen with the bronze so I'm actually doing a bit of a test today. Um, I put this on this morning at about 10 o'clock 
and I've been wearing it all day. It's now about half past six in the evening. Um, and yeah, I'm going to wait till about midnight till I take it off and I'll see if it's dropped down at all. So far, I've got pretty much no creasing at all. I can't see any, no creasing. Um, whereas the turquoise one had creased massively by this sort of long into it. Um, so yeah, so I think it's something with the turquoise. Actually, if any of you who are watching this have had the similar problem with the turquoise, can you leave a comment below and let me know if it's just me or if it's something that's common with this colour? Um, you know, if it's staying power is not quite as good. Other thing I got is something that everyone on YouTube raves about and I had had a free sample of it and I absolutely loved it which is why I wanted to buy it which is the Chanel Vitalumia Aqua Foundation. Um, my colour, if I can see, I don't even know if it says it on there anywhere, um, I think it's pretty much the lightest one that they do. Um, it doesn't have a name or number or anything, oh there we go, yes, uh, 10 beige is my colour. Um, absolutely stunning. I've been wearing it every day since I've got it. It's very sort of lightweight on your skin. Um, it doesn't go too greasy, but it's very dewy in the finish. Um, it's not matte at all, which is something that I don't like about the double wear foundation because that is very matte. So I don't really like that anymore because of the, the finish on it. But this one is absolutely lovely um, and I've been really, really, really enjoying this. Um, this I actually had a good deal on. Um, if you're in the UK and you go to Debenhams at all, Debenhams do like a beauty reward card and basically every time you spend money you give them a card, they put points on it and with the points after about, I think it's about a month or two months, they turn into like money that you can spend but the money has an expiration on it so you can't just sort of, you know, leave it there forever and save it up. Um, so I'd saved up like £15 so whereas this is normally £31 I only paid £16 for it because I use all my points as well so I really liked that um, and of course for buying this I got a whole bunch more points on my card as well so I think I got like another £5 worth or something like that so that's cool so I bought that really 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 love it. Now into the nail polishes I bought five altogether. so the first one is the Barry M um, nail paint the magnetic nail paint Point, <laughs> paint which is in purple and that's this one here um, now I'm going to be doing a really big blog post on all of these which I have already taken all the photographs for so if you want to check it out and see kind of how it looks when it's all on your nail and all affected and everything like that just head over to my blog I do actually have on my blog a nail of the day photo which is on my nail of the day tab which is using this as well if you want to have a look so the link will be below just go over and have a look at that if you want to see it but this is really cool one thing I really love about this is that it only takes one coat and then you put the magnet on the top you just hover it above and then you have your effect and it lasts for about a day two days something like that because it's only one coat, it's not that strong um, and it will chip, but it's only going to chip a little bit from my, you know, from what I found. And to be fair, I've not long had my acrylics taken off, so my nails are pretty weak, so it could be that my nails are weak. If your nails are stronger, I'm sure it'll last a bit longer. Um, but yeah, so I got that and I think that was like 6 99 and they have like loads of different colours, but I was quite surprised that they had it there because I know a lot of places have sold out, so that's that. I also got... Um, Maybelline Express Finish 40, this one, which is in the colour Turquoise Lagoon. Now this I am just like in love with, I absolutely love this colour. After buying this, <laughs> I've kind of fallen in, fallen in love with the colour teal. Um, so I, I bought this and I had my nails teal for a while. I redesigned my blog in teal. Um, and I'm thinking about redecorating my bedroom in teal, so I've just completely fallen in love with it because of this colour. Um, it's just beautiful. Two coats, you can almost get away with one coat, but two coats um, and then a top coat. And it lasts really nicely, it doesn't chip too quickly, um, and it's just stunning. And I think this was about 6 99 as well. It may have been 5 99 but I think it was about that. So there's this one as well. I actually really love the Maybelline, like their Pro or Express finish, like the, this shape bottle. I love their uh, range. They do some really nice colours and they last really well as well. So I got that. At the same time, I thought I would pick up an effect polish to go over the top of it. Um, and I bought the Rimmel Lasting Finish Disco Ball, which is number 500 here. Um, I don't know how well you can see all the different colours in that, but basically you've got blues, uh, silvers and kind of like uh, pink, sort of lilac-y pink colours 
um, and it's really pretty. What I've done is I've actually put it on my nail tonight so you can see it's on this finger here um, and as much as I'm sure you probably can't see all the different colours on there um, it's got a lot of different colours in it, it's really pretty and it's really nice just to just to put over your nail and especially if you're wearing a colour like this as well because it will show up really really well. Um, also something which I know people are finding really hard to get hold of is the Max Factor Max Effect in Fantasy Fire. So I'm really, really, really pleased I got this. I went into Boots looking for an Essie nail polish and found it, which is my next item. Um, and I thought, oh, I'll just have a look at the Max Factor stuff as well because when I went into Superdrug the other day, they didn't have it. They just sold out. They didn't even have like an area for it. So I tried Boots and uh, and they had like two left. So I was so, 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 so pleased that. I, was, I, I managed to get it. I think this was four ninety nine, um, but it's just the most beautiful colour. It's you can wear it by itself if you layer it enough. You need uh, realistically two to three coats. I'd say probably three um, if you want to get good coverage. It is quite sheer, but it'll sit on top of nail varnish quite nicely as well. I'm also over on my blog. I'm doing a big blog post at the moment. That's what I was doing today, um, looking at lots of different colour nail varnishes and looking at this over them just to see sort of what they look like and how this looks over them to see which colours it works really well with so that is probably going to be up tomorrow if you want to head over and have a look so I've got that as well and then the other nail polish is the one that I'm wearing which is the Essie colour it's called Fiji uh, which is the number 14 it's my first Essie nail polish it was 7 99 which I felt was quite reasonable it's only a pound more than Maybelline so and um, yeah that's pretty good um, and I don't have any colours like this. I wanted a colour that was sort of, um, not white, but, you know, off-white, sort of, and, and like a really pale pink, because I didn't have anything like that at all. And this was exactly what I wanted, so I was really, really, really pleased with that. Um, and this is, what I'm wearing today is two coats of it, um, with a base coat and a top coat as well, so that's those. So that is my recent haul. So, um, yeah, if you want to, like I said, check out go over to my blog, check out my giveaway as well because that's when I hit 50 subscribers and I'm only 12 away from hitting that now. I've already bought everything and what I will tell you is that there is one of these in there as well. So one of the magnetic nail polishes and it's not in this colour, it's in a different colour um, because this one already had like nail varnish on the top and stuff whereas I wanted to get a clean one. So uh, yeah, you've got it in a different colour. But, um, but yeah, as soon as I hit 50 subscribers I will show you all the things that I have bought for it. Um, it is open internationally, so just check over to my blog and make sure you subscribe to it as well so that you can enter the competition when I hit 50. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And uh, if you're watching this on the weekend, have a nice weekend. Bye.